More good news. When a South Sudanese refugee moved to Australia, a love of his homeland led to a publishing venture supporting African authors. As Small Business Secrets has discovered, it's now promoting a boom in South Sudanese literature, both in Australia and around the world. Peter Deng started his own book publishing company after arriving in Australia as a refugee in 2006. Africa World Books specialises in publications about the history of South Sudan and issues facing the diaspora in Australia. If anybody needed books about Africa, I thought that it is a good place for the book to be there so that they can easily have access to information. The books are printed on demand through a local printing company. Then from his office in Perth, Peter sends them to readers around the world. Australian people may want to know about the South Sudanese cultures and the traditions, so that's why these books are good for service providers. Australian people are good people, but they don't know who we are. Oh. The company works with South Sudanese authors to publish books and reading material in Dinka language. Okay, We got many Dinka community in Australia and all our young children, they are having the problem of learning our languages. Selling on demand through Amazon and internet book sites, Africa World Books has become a primary source for South Sudanese literature around the world. A couple of months ago, I was trying to find some good Dinka language learning material, and I contacted South Sudanese specialists all over the world, eventually uh, getting in touch with a senior professor at Yale University. He said, oh, there's a guy in Australia. Um, his name is Peter Deng. Peter's focus now is to capture the stories of older generations of South Sudanese living in Australia. Jock Mabok completed a university degree in Australia at the age of 75, after spending decades of his life fighting in war. South Sudan lost 2.5 million lives in order to achieve independence. We did not achieve it for nothing. Now I'm free, we can write anything. A traditionally oral society, Africa World Books continues a booming literary culture among South Sudanese. That is the difference between Africa World Book and other companies because also those small booklets, who else could do, it, do them? But we did it as a part of community service and to encourage this oral society. Taking a page from history to build a brighter future. Aaron Fernandez. SBS World News. And you can watch more on Small Business Secrets tomorrow on SBS at 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. And of course, online, just click on the Small Business Secrets tab on the SBS World News website or at SBS On Demand.